So Cerebria One uh, is the first uh, intelligent algorithm uh, based computer study looking to help uh, physicians in their daily decision making of interpretation of very complex coronary physiology uh, waveforms and pullback traces. So we took a thousand uh, traces, we uh, asked uh, 15 investigators, all experts in PCI and physiology from all around the world on an online portal to assess each of the traces, the pullback traces, to see whether they would uh, treat the patient or not, and then to mark on the trace the segment that they'd like to treat, i.e. the bit which they thought was causing the problem. Then what we did is we took a, effectively a collective view or consensus or heart team view of all of these uh, physicians and we compared it against the algorithms that we've developed to see how our algorithms compared against the heart team consensus uh, approach from the physicians. So we found uh, in this study that the computer was at least as good as the human consensus decision uh, in interpreting uh, this data. In fact, when it was apparently wrong, the computer, it was usually because the humans had failed to detect drift collectively uh, or that they'd failed to identify correctly uh, areas on the waveform which could potentially benefit from treatment or not. So this is a, a very uh, encouraging uh, result because essentially what it shows us is that physicians uh, are able to use technology uh, now in a way where they can perform a single measurement and have a heart team approach uh, based assessment for every single case. Well I think this is the start uh, and I think there are already other algorithms which are being developed to simplify and make measurements more reliable and more accurate and I think they're going to uh, really become very diverse and they're going to become uh, pervasive in many aspects of our treatment both in terms of interpretation of uh, angiograms, uh, more automation of various processes and I think very importantly a lot of these will, will not take away necessarily from what the interventionists done but provide uh, added safety. If you look at the aviation industry when algorithms and autopilots got introduced there was a massive improvement in safety and if you think Myself as an interventional cardiologist, you're often in the lab, uh, you're being distracted by many different inputs and having a system there always at hand which is alerting you to any potential uh, pitfalls uh, and warning signs which is what's going to be possible in the near future I think will be very, very good for us but also most importantly good for patients and improve uh, patient safety.